so it's like there's there's no days the same like with what we actually do that's fun like yeah so it's like well what are we doing today no one Keep knows it it's kind of a joke too like with um with the group that i work out with in the morning like the pros like uh everyone's like what are we doing today it's like i don't know no one knows <laughs> like well, you never know what you're doing changed a lot from when I took over a program and a full program and with boxing and everything um, and the strength conditioning so I'm wearing a lot of hats but uh, so she sees a lot of me so if she gets mad and curses me out on one end and then she has to see me as a different person put the other face on it's like so you're getting used to it you know this is now going on what four years so it's uh, it, you know she, she works you know and I'm realizing that uh, I can raise the bar and she'll, she'll stay right there with it and then something she'll go above and beyond. He's probably one of the main reasons why my body hasn't given out yet. Because he knows how to like make adjustments with everything. Like and fix stuff while working it out. Right. Yeah. Press up and cool. Get mm -hmm. under control. Two. Set it down. Three. Good. Don't twist. Don't twist. Hi, I'm Priscilla Barrera, Marlene's dietitian here in Houston. The opportunities that we've had to work on, it's the consistency of the meals the consistency of the meals, making sure she, eats, she is eating enough and eating without fear. Uh, because I feel a lot of times for that sport, athletes will be afraid of doing the wrong things Definitely. at the wrong times. And so that is one of the things that she's, she's aggressive into everything that she does. And when it comes to food, like she gave me the opportunity to say yes to having those frequent meals. And because of her background on doing this for so long, um, she was, she was accept, you know, she just said yes to my fit foods and allowing us to do that consistency, uh, protein resynthesis, getting her uh, food as fuel and getting her to feel that first and then see how her body was responding so yeah we're, we're very excited to see that um, after a few days she texts me and she's like I can feel it I feel great and of course I ask how do you look you know I look good too so it's like it, it is all coming apart it's really just it's a lot of like strength work and leg work so I mean, going up that hill is like torturous. So it helps a lot with like my, not just my balance, but my like stability in the ring, but able to like foot movement as well. So how you, how can you be strong like you're, like you're squatting weights, but yet you're still gonna have to be like elusive. So it kind of like, it kind of gives me, I feel like ba ballerina legs, like everything's really strong and explosive. Helps with my footwork and it helps with my mental as well. Um, you know, with the sand and all that, uh, being outside kind of like, kind of having to fight through everything at one time. Um, you know, the sand helps with my balance, it helps with my stability, it helps, um, it helps with really just everything, right? All your, all your muscles, um, like what I said about like a ballerina, how, how, do you, how do you get that type of strength throughout your body? Um, and the hill and the sand like really do that. Again, shoot it in there, there you go. Everything's with a purpose, but not just that, it helps Everything has to flow all together and the whole time you're suffering. So it helps me like be in that mindset all the time, especially um, with, the, with the switch that, that you need. So it really puts you there uh, a lot of the time. It puts you there quick. Boiling a little bit, how happy are you to finally get in the ring? I'm, well, I'm, I'm happy to get in the ring, but you know, I'm happy to get my belt, you know. I know I'm like she's a world champion, I'm a world champion, but I need that belt. So I'm more excited about getting the belt. But whatever, it comes hand in hand in my head. Like I'm excited about fighting because I'm excited about getting my belt, right? So it's like I'm excited to get in the ring. I'm excited to do this. Medium pace. Okay. One six three. <laughs> Medium pace. Ooh. Medium slow, easy, easy, champ. I'm old. Ready? Easy. Oh, we're going through it. Yeah. But then there's also so much that goes into it. It's not like it's not it's not like it's a party in there. You know, it's like it's not like yay we're here. It's like for everybody else it is. But when I'm in there, it's like 
is my job though. Like I have one job, right? And it is to get that bill. That's what they got. So they can get the intensity. Good. Don't lean forward. You're already right there. All you can do is keep the knees bent. Use the hips. There you go. Drive from the ground. <laughs> it was fun. He said it was going to be fun. This will be great. <sighs> Being a world champion, he said it was going to be fun. So much fun. So much fun. where if you bring the speed up, 15 to 20 strokes is all you need. That's gonna feel like you you really punched out for 35, 40 seconds, right? Towards the end of the round. Mm -hmm. So now it's for her to control the heart rate and get her heart rate down under control in under 15 seconds. Mm -hmm. Like recovery. And then we try more and more, but the swimming and the running and then underwater breathing, being able to hold your breath, and, and for her, the goal is obviously, right? If she fights two minutes, hold your breath for two minutes. How many of the paddles last? I mean, it's a, a pool workout, so it's, it's, uh, it's always hard, but there's a lot with breathing. You know, um, again, everything's pretty mental um, and fighting through things. And that was, uh, well, we started with the run and then the swim, and that's really for lungs and just you know, cardio, but the shadow boxing, you know, against the current is, you know, it's, it's hard because it, I, I'm trying to get position, I'm trying to like fight, and it's, it's just pushing me back, pushing me back, so I have to figure out how to get it done while moving, ways I don't want to move. So once I just, you know, you dig in and just figure it out, then, you know, it becomes a flow, but it's hard, uh, it's definitely hard on uh, the body, on the mind, and the lungs, so it's a pull workout. <laughs> This is one of the things we do, uh, not only as a warm up, but we do it uh, for just a normal recovery day. Um, she sees the chiropractor uh, usually weekly, uh, and then a massage uh, just for all the other tissue, whether it's cupping or anything, uh, just to get the body recovered back from the hard workouts. It's I love it because I'm always in pain, but and I've been working. You know, I've been boxing for so long too, and we train. We train really, really hard. We have a different. He has a different system than I've ever seen, so it's probably the most difficult. And since it's so much on my body, I don't think without like all the recovery that I would like be able to even do what I'm doing. So I'm I'm still able to do all the rounds and do all the working out and for so long because because of the recovery stuff. So learning about it too is fun because I didn't know like certain stuff like game readings or like compression or what it, what it means and what you actually need for what's happening to your body whether it's a cold plunge or the compression, just like all of it together, I need it, but you know, I enjoy it because it helps me. It's either you're working out or recovering, basically. <laughs> hey guys, thanks for stopping by. The workout's done. So I'm gonna enjoy this meal. Tune in next time. <laughs>